I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here in Davos, day two at the World Economic Forum. It's cold outside, but it's pretty warm in here. Paul, you've joined me, Paul Hogan, from Home Instead. Thanks very much for coming along. Tell me, you're here talking about aging, but also your company. Tell me first what Home Instead does. Well, yes, Edie, Home Instead Senior Care is a, a service organization that provides supportive services for seniors, uh, such as companionship, light housekeeping, personal care. We specialize in Alzheimer's and dementia care, medication reminders, uh, and, and, and so on. And our services are now, uh, we started in Omaha in mm -hmm. 1994, and now our services are available throughout 1,000 offices in 16 countries. So I haven't heard about you. I've got aging parents-in-law. I've got an aging parent. Um, how do you address some of the issues that um, everybody's concerned about? Well, first of all, we focus on what people want. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter what study you see. Uh, in you know, name the country, and 85 to 90 percent of seniors want to remain in their homes. They want to age in place, and, and about 76 percent of their children support that same decision. Mm -hmm. How does that deal with the issues in the UK? There have been terrible stories about mistreatment, for example, in um, age homes. How would you address some of the issues of how are we going to take care of an aging population? Well, there's not one simple answer, but certainly uh, the more we can do to keep seniors engaged, socially active, uh, and, and, it, and it starts when they become seniors. Mm -hmm. You know, um, every week there are a million new seniors around the world. <clears throat> and uh, the, the key for successful aging is to keep uh, them uh, engaged in work, volunteerism, uh, lifelong learning. Uh, and this, this way they stay relevant and they stay productive versus become solely sort of a burden on society. Mm -hmm. Is that easier if they stay at home, or is it sometimes easier if you move to a place where it's more communal, you've got more people around, it's easier to, to get around because you're in a smaller community? Well, first of all, again, it's the number one desire, mm -hmm. but it's also more cost effective. Mm -hmm. uh, the average care for a senior in home health care uh, is $18,000 a year. In a skilled nursing facility, it's 72000 a year. So, you know, for, and certainly there's a place for the skilled nursing facility, but to prematurely place a senior in, mm -hmm. in that form of care is very expensive, and it's the last thing they want anyhow. If you could have, ask governments to do one thing to help seniors, to help your business, for example, what would it be? Well, I think uh, I would say the first thing is, is to recognize the value of home care. Mm -hmm. uh, home care, it reduces uh, length of stay in hospital. Uh, it uh, saves on <clears throat> readmissions into the hospital. And um, those are things that impact the cost of home care and, and the cost of care in general. And by recognizing that, uh, the next step would, you know, would be to reduce the, you know, the impediments mm -hmm. to developing uh, home care in the marketplace like you know, exorbitant VAT taxes. I mean, in Austria, there's 20% tax on in-home care. Uh, there's uh, outdated regulation, uh, regulation that is forced upon an industry that wasn't, that you know, our industry didn't exist 20 years ago, but yet they're trying to shoehorn us in to those outdated regulations, which drives up the cost of care and uh, it forces more seniors to take the cheaper alternative, which is the underground market, mm -hmm. where there's less training and supervision. So quality is very low and risk is very high. So to reduce the impediments to developing a home care market would be something very helpful and then that governments could take a part in. Well, thanks so much for coming into the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush.